Hey guys, I'm Max from Walkers and Star. I'm here today with the two new models of the TIG 200P ACDC. We've got the digital and analog model. Specifically, we're taking a look at the analog version of the machine today, and we're going to cover the DC and DC pulse setups for the machine. So the setup for standard DC, first you want to make sure that you're in the DC mode here. Uh, you've got the panel and remote two position switch. If you're using a, a foot control, you want to be in the remote mode. And if you're using a standard on torch trigger, you want to be in panel. Uh, you've got the pulse on and pulse off. Uh, obviously, we're going to be doing standard DC for the moment, so pulse needs to be off. And you need to make sure that you're also in the TIG setting as well. Up here, you've also got a two touch and four touch trigger control. To access that, you simply press the two position switch down once into the MMA mode and then up and it will highlight to show that you're in 4T and then to get back in 2T, down again and then up back into the TIG and you're back in 2T trigger function. Then you want to go through your setup of your parameters. So the first one that you will alter is your pre-flow gas. Between 0 and 1 second is adequate, um, any longer than that and you just end up wasting gas. Then you want to go to your peak amperage, which is obviously dependent on the uh, material thickness that you weld in. Obviously thicker material is going to require more amperage and this machine is limited to 200 amps. Finally, you've got your downslope time as well. Again, this is down to the user preference. Uh, if you don't want a downslope, just leave it at zero seconds, but you can adjust that between zero and 10 seconds. So for the DC pulse setup, you want to make sure that the pulse is switched on. That then allows you to um, alter quite a few different settings. So firstly, you've got your pulse frequency. Uh, this is adjustable between one pulse per second and 200 pulses per second. So whichever the user requires, just select it there. Uh, your background amperage is also something that you need to adjust. This red zone here indicates um, a quick setup guide so typically you would want it set at about 50%. That means that the background amperage will be approximately 50% of whatever you've got set at your peak. So at 200 amps, the background amperage would be 100. If your peak amperage was at 100, your background amperage would be at 50. Thanks for watching this video. Check out jastic.co.uk for more details.